and that now comes later in the process, therefore the barrier to people to get people in has been taken away. We're going to bring you new games, and those new games mean new income streams for you as well. And we haven't just bolted this onto the current site. It's so much of a change that we couldn't just do that. We are building from the absolute ground up with the most modern technology and making sure that we're building mobile first. Because what we want people to do is when they're out and about, and when it's like us, you get that email that says, oh, I'm doing this, will you guess at my event? You can do it there and then on your phone and not, oh yeah, I'll do it later, and then we all forget. So there's going to be more payment options as well. At the moment, it's just debit card. We're going to have debit card, we're going to have credit card, we're going to have a wallet. We're going to be able to retain people's card details as well. So once they've done that first registration, to be able to make another guess is going to be really easy with more incentives to return as well. So we're going to have points, whereby if you do things on the site, you get some points, and those points mean you can spend them on different things. Most people are probably going to spend them on guesses, which means they've got a chance to come back and win something else again. And we've also got more benefits to you. The benefits are obviously the fact we're going to be giving you more money, we're going to be giving you more marketing support, and we're also going to be going out and doing more advertising as well because of that investment and because of the bigger team and skills that we've got on board. So, I think we're doing a lot, and not charging you a penny. We must be mad. <laughs> anyway, just looking at the new income streams. What we've got at the moment is what we're classing as a challenge sweepstake. It's the, I'm running the London Marathon, guess my time. It's a challenge sweepstake. But now, the user can set that at either a three, a five, or a ten pound guess. So they can gauge it as to where their friends are. We're leaving it to them. As we move forward as well, we've got plans to be able to extend that and maybe set something like a high roller where they might be able to set it for 50 or 100 pounds because some of those guys who are working in banking might just want to say, well guess how many strokes it takes me to get around the golf course and it might be 100 pound a guess that's fine for us, that's fine for you because they might not be interested by only paying 10 pound a guess we had a lot of people saying that they weren't going to use guess to give because people like to support a range of charities as well well now anybody can choose up to four charities that they want to support being able to give people updates and give people a clue on how your training is going on your marathon or your cycle or your run is a big thing. So what we've got, we're linking in with Strava. So whenever I go for my run or my uh, anything like that, it records what I'm doing. I, as soon as I get back, it uploads to Strava, but that will also update to my sweepstake page. So when somebody goes to make a guess, they can see, oh, well, Mark's doing nine minute miles now, so I'm going to make my guess at that area as well. It gives them a bit of a clue. They can also add those comments, and I see these comments being made, uh, being made as well. And these are the ones where we can see people having a guess, but they're not even going to win. So the comments are the things that add the fun and the banter. So it's like, yeah, 17 hours for your London Marathon, because you haven't got a hope of doing that, because I see you in the pub every Friday night. And then you get other people comment on that as well, and that kind of thing. We're also going to allow donations after the sweepstake is closed. Currently, we can't, we, we, the site doesn't do that. But we know that a lot of people go back to the site after you've finished your event to make a donation. So all of these things are going to generate more money just by able to bring people back and do more. What you can see there is, is an example of what a sweepstake page is going to look like. So it tells people that it's a challenge sweepstake, and if they're not sure what that is, there's a little question mark so they can find out about that. It tells me the name of the person. We've called this Cosmo, who is our little character that we've got there. And he's doing an iron distance uh, triathlon at Eva Castle for these four charities, which we've got all the details over there. And then you can click through to those charity pages as well. It tells you when it's starting. When you click on the guess, it drops down a box and they can put in the guesses in there. We've got the updates. So this is where your Strava updates go. This is where all my comments go on top of that as well. You can get up to four different um, pictures, and you can also put YouTube videos in there as well, and you'll be able to see everybody's guesses. We've got the ability to share it across all of the social networks, and then over here is something that we all love, which are donuts. And these donuts are going to fill based on the based on the size. So you set your target; it might be a bit blurry, but that set is three hundred pound in there, and that's going to fill up as it goes round. But also the prize fund will also fill up as they go around. So people are going to know what to expect, what they can win when they get there. So it's all very clear, all very simple. Now for the new income streams, we've got something called group sweepstakes. And this is something that we'd all recognise as more of a traditional sweepstake, whereby 
you can pick the Grand National or the World Cup or the Formula One or whatever big event happens to be going on out there. So if I want to set one up, I go on, I choose group sweepstakes and I choose those from the list. I'll say I want to take two horses from the Grand National, I might be paying £5 a horse and the system will randomly send me out those two horses. It's exactly the same as picking it out of a hat. But guess what? All of those sweepstakes that happen around the country at Grand National time and at World Cup time, most of the time it's all about somebody tearing up the bits of paper, putting them in the hat, chasing people around the office, trying to get money off them and all those kind of things. And then when somebody does win, it goes in the pocket and then disappears down the pub. What you can do with this is send it out. They can do that, but now you get the majority of the money. But there's still a prize fund for the winner as well. Okay, not everybody in the country is not going to do one. But if you think how many sweepstakes happen around Grand National, if you get 5% of the people in the country or 1% to be able to set up sweepstakes on that for your charity, that's brand new money by doing very, very little. You know, we're going to put the winner in and if there's something up there, if there's an event that's specifically your charity or something that you want on top of that that isn't there, just tell us. We input the name of the event, we input all of the participants or the horses or the players or whatever it happens to be and it'll allow you to get that out to your charity. We can make it specific to you if you want. So what we've got one there, just done one for a Grand National, again it's Cosmo. When it's going to be happening, we put all of the names of the horses that are going to be taking part. Not that you can choose them, but you know people want to know what's going on. And then people just go, yeah, I'm going to guess. I'll have two horses, and it's going to fire them out like that as well. Dead simple. Really, really simple. We're also going to have something called VIP, uh, sorry, um, star prizes. Now this is something, again, that we're going to put in place. We're looking at, at the moment, two of the ones that we've uh, about 98% decided on is we're going to have tickets for the women's singles final at Wimbledon, but also tickets for a VIP day for the Formula One at Silverstone. What that's going to allow us to do is take those prizes, we can advertise them in the places where those people are going, so on websites where people are interested in Formula One, or websites where people are interested in tennis, and say, hey, if you want to win this, it's £5 for a ticket or £10 for a ticket, whatever we decide it's going to be, and you get the chance to win. Now, some of the money goes into the prize fund again, but they get the chance to win the ticket. We want to find charities to work with us alongside that as well, because when the person goes through to make their payment, they're going to be able to choose which charity the money goes towards. So you send it out to your supporters, and it means your supporters can choose that the money goes to your charity. So while you're sending it out to your supporters, we're going to bring you new people in because we're going out to the wider audience and the public to bring them in as well. They might not have heard of your charity before, but if they decide, oh, there's a children's charity or there's a cancer charity or there's an international development charity, that's what I'm going to give my money to. But what's important with all of this is that we give you all of the support and data as well. So not only do you get the money, but when we make the payment into your bank, you get the uh, report on a monthly basis that gives you all of the support and data so you can contact them in the future as long as they've ticked the box to be able to pass that data on to you. So when you say support, you mean donor? Yeah, yeah, donor. Yeah, so from the guesser, yeah, exactly that, yeah, from the person who's made the guess. <clears throat> as I've said, it's been built from new. So we've learned a lot and we know technology moves extremely quickly. So we're building it mobile first, like I said, for guessing on the go. So when you're buying your coffee on the morning, you can do that in a very quick period of time. Loads of social integration, as you've seen on there. So in, with your Strava training, or Facebook, or Twitter, or LinkedIn as well. Getting people to put their challenges up on LinkedIn is a quite a big way of getting people to do it, because they've got all of that work network as well. Debit and credit cards, retain the card details, and as I said, points to be able to get people to come back and we can incentivize people to make more guesses as well. So it might be sort of buy one, get one free, or if you make two guesses, you get one free, even if they've already made one guess, so they come back to the site and get another chance to win. For the charities, we've made things slightly different for you guys as well. We've got gold charities and silver charities. We, we've got something for you all to take away at the end, and that is a, a little USB memory stick that's got the agreement on. It's also got the definitions between the silver and gold charities. It's got our contact details on. So please make sure that you grab one of those before you go, and it defines what those are. Like I said, you're going to get more income 
from those new supporters. We're also going to get that more marketing from us as well. So we're going to spend a lot of time with you. We're going to spend a lot of time on the campaigns. But use the ideas from the other charities so we can come when we have meetings with you and say, oh, that charity over there tried this and their timing was just right and they found that that message really brought in a lot more people. We're offering things called Money Maker Cafes where we're going to come in if you can get people from your team, from, co from corporate, from events, from community, and by the time we leave, two or three hours later, you will have a, ca a targeted campaign for each of those different areas. We'll take away all of the notes, we'll put them into a, the right format, so you've then got the emails and the copy <laughs> and the images that you need to be able to take that and drop it straight out to your supporters. We're doing everything we can to support you along the way. Invites to Hot Topic events as well like this, we're going to have a lot more of these events as we go throughout the year and moving forward. And also because of uh, HMRC being able to um, process uh, gift aid a lot faster, we're able to get gift aid to you a lot quicker as well. So, what now? Well, first of all, I'd just like to in, uh, invite the rest of the team up to the front, please. Be not so shy. <laughs> Uh, so we've got Alan who's our Executive Chairman, uh, Alan's got a lot of uh, experience in business over the last 30 years, even though he looks so young, uh, uh, with taking, taking businesses forward, really taking start-up businesses, moving them forward to be successful, so we've got that real experience in the camp now that admittedly we were lacking before. Chris who's going to be heading up, or who is heading up our user experience and making sure that when people are using the site, it's very simple and people know where they want to go. And Sabrina has probably got the toughest job of all because she's got to be going around talking to all of you people along with me, working on those marketing, working on those messages and really building those relationships so that we can help you get those messages out and make the most of, uh, of guests to give for you as well. So you might have already chatted to some of these guys in the coffee break, but uh, if you'd like to obviously chat to them a little bit later over lunch, you know who they are all now. Sabrina, Alan and Chris. Um, also, the key thing is for some of you to uh, complete the commercial participator agreement, which I said is on the memory stick. Those charities that are already partners with us have got the new version. We had to put a new version together because we've changed what we're doing so dramatically that it needed a whole new, uh, a whole new broad brush. So we need to get those back by March the 10th, which means you will go back or you will go on the new site when we launch in early March as well. So please work on getting those back. Any questions, please pick up the phone and ask us a question. Once we've got those, set a date for the cafe. Set us a date when we'll come in and sit and work with you to get the best out of it. We really want to come in and see what we can do. And all of that will help generate new, new income because that's what it's all about. That's why you're here. You want to find about what's innovation, but the whole point of it is so that you can bring new money into, uh, into your charity. Now,